Hello everyone, and welcome to my channel. So, I had, <coughs> this was, a, this is a spread video. I was actually going to go look at sweaters and stuff, and I came across this palette. Now, I got a kick out of this palette, was because I'm looking at it, and it's a dupe. It's a dupe for, as far as I'm concerned, um, on Asasia's subculture. So what we're going to do is we're going to see if the quality of the dupe is like it. So, I do have the subculture palette. <laughs> Sorry, I'm on the puppies. And, so, and I have used it a little bit, a lot. But, I want you to see this. So, I was in room, looking at the sweater, this off, this beautiful cow sweater, cow neck sweater. Kind of, it can be off the shoulder, it can be cow neck. Play with it how you like. But, while I go by, we have just gotten these in. So I want you to look at this. Look at these palettes. They are a lot alike. I was blown away. I mean, a little bit dye difference, but this. And this is at Route 21, and it's 10 bucks. And it's the W7 on the rocks. Um, and they have, I think, four, four palettes. There's one that looks like the Peach Palette from Too Faced, there's one that looks like Modern Renaissance from Anastasia, and there's one that can be the Shade and Light Glitter Palette for Kat Von D. So ladies, um, if you're on a budget, this has a lot of potential for you. If you're wanting a dupe and if you want to play with it. So, first off, we are going to see how well. Now, I also have the prism one, just in case, it, but this one has more, I guess to me, glitter, which makes sense for prism. So, let me get my wipes ready. So we're going to start with the top one. So, Cube by Anastasia. So the difference is with this one, oh. I don't know if you can tell the difference. So the top one is the honest one. That's cute. This one's Sugar Room. Sugar Room has like a like a shimmer. I mean, it's this one has like a glitter to it. Shimmer glitter. This one has like, you move it, it turns pink. So it's kind of almost like a... Uh, I like, I actually like that W, the W7 better, that Sugar Room. So the next one is Roxy. Oops. And then this is Body Shot. Hold on, my hand was wet when I did this and that wasn't good. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Let's do the Anastasia first. So the Anastasia will be the one on top. So I'm not liking that one body shot as much. So it's a little that one's Anastasia, that one's body shot. Body shot's a little lighter. Just alternate them. So this is Dawn. This is just the wrong hand to do that in. I tried. I have one finger that just swatches the best. Okay. So Dawn and Moscato. I don't know if you can tell. They look identical. So swatch wise. The next one is a shimmer. Anastasia calls it electric. Let's just go down my arm. And then champagne toast. Ooh. Like I said, I can't tell them on here. They look more alike. 
the next one is going to be Destiny, and then the W7 is Martino, which I kind of like that name, which makes sense. They're just a little different. Oh, I'm looking. No, fudge is not coming on very good with subculture, but Bloody Mary, a little darker. That's Anastasia, that's the W7. We didn't need to do it the other way. Okay, so then we have Adorn. This is the Anastasia. An espresso martini. Let me go the other way. Um, they're pretty much a lot alike. So, the next one, this is like a mustard. It's called New Wave by Anastasia. And this one's called Bellini. I don't think Bellini have this color, but hey. But they're pretty much identical. So here's the thing. Oh, we'll do some of the dark ones real quick. So this is All Star. This is the burgundy one. And this one is Maraschino Cherry. The Maraschino Cherry one is a little darker. Of course, I turned the wrong way. I've got to learn how to do that. I'm doing it all wrong. Anyway, let's try some of these greens because Untamed in Magnum is darker than the um, Untamed. And then Carico and Axis. Let's try those. Ooh, I like Paris. I like that one better. So I do like the W7 one. Um, I'm kind of impressed. By, especially with this being um, Rue 21. That they now are carrying W7. Which I know I've seen in other places like I think Marshalls and TJ Maxx. Now the packaging is cardboard. Um, let's see. Ten, Ten bucks. It'll focus. Anyway, um, but I am liking, like I said, it's not a fancy packaging. It's not like the Velveteen packaging that Anastasia does that people really like and stuff. It's not as tasteful and stuff, but it's also not the cost. Um, this is out of England, out of London, so shouldn't be bad. So I am pleasantly surprised with this palette. Um, so if you guys are looking for a new dupe for subculture, here's the dupe. I mean, I'm just so surprised. Um, and honestly, I will probably, because I don't care, I don't have modern renaissance, and yes, I'm trying to pan, but when you find something like this, I, I definitely I think I'm going to get the Modern Renaissance palette, and they do have one that's like the peach. I do have the Shade and Light Glitter palette, so I probably won't buy that one, but for the price, and today there was a sale, so I got it on sale too, um, so I'll probably definitely be looking into that. So, um, if you're looking for a nice, go check out Rue 21, because they've got dupes and it seems to be going really well and, and stuff and I will play with it and I'll let you guys know if it's 
you know, how it blends and everything else. So I hope everybody has a wonderful day and I'll talk to you later.